Hello and welcome to another portable stage video tutorial. Today I want to speak about replacing your scissor section, uh, which is this cross section. If those aluminium poles become bent at any time during transit or storage, uh, you may want to replace this section. It's, it's, although it's two rods, aluminium pole rods, it is actually available in our store as a one part section. Now you need to know which height of riser you've got in order to order that. You can order these on our stage, uh, portable stage.co.uk website. Um, you measure the riser in its open state. So that's its closed storage state and that's its open state. You measure the black block from the bottom to the top of the other black block, that will give you the measurement. That's generally going to be 200, 300, 400, 600, etc. Um, this particular one is 300 mil high, and with the deck on top, that's a 30 mil thickness, giving you a 330 mil high platform. So, in order to replace this scissor section, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to take out the pins on the sides of the black block which are holding the scissor section in place. Now that requires taking four pins out of the four black blocks. Now depending on what version or brand of riser leg system you have, those pins will either be pretty easy to take out if you've got a portable stage version, uh, if you have a Riva stage, Intelli stage uh, or other products on the market, if that, that pin may be, depending on the age of the riser, either a pin or a screw, uh, but it will need to be extracted from the black block in order for you to change that scissor section. If you cannot get the pin out because of the riser system that you've purchased, then you'll need to break the black block, and that involves hacksawing across two angles in order to break the black block. You'll then, of course, need four new black blocks as well. So you'll need a set of black blocks, pins and the scissor section. Um, that sounds pretty expensive, it's not really. The, the parts are relatively cheap and the trouble being that it will take a fair bit of DIY in order to replace that. Um, ordering our uh, particular blocks and pins uh, will mean that you won't have to do that process a second time um, because they're easy to extract from our uh, particular brand of stage. So once you've done that, you can replace the, remove the, the scissor section itself and replace it with a new one and then reverse engineer that. If you can get the pin out, it's a pretty dead straightforward process. Taking the pin that locks the scissor section into place, take that pin out, the scissor section will come out and then a new scissor section in and pop the pins back in. 